Anti-Bullying Training for Primary and Secondary School Learners Hello, and welcome to our video on anti-bullying for primary and secondary school learners. Bullying is a serious issue that affects many children, and it can have long-lasting negative effects on their mental, emotional, and physical well-being. In this video, we will discuss what bullying is, how to recognize it, the types of bullying, and what steps learners can take to prevent and deal with bullying. What is bullying? Bullying is an intentional and repetitive form of aggressive behavior that can be physical, verbal, or social. It is a power imbalance where one person or group of people uses their power to hurt, intimidate, or harm another person. Bullying can happen in person or online, and it can have serious consequences for the victim's mental, emotional, and physical health. How to recognize bullying? It's important to know how to recognize bullying so that you can help prevent it from happening. Here are some signs that someone may be a victim of bullying. They seem anxious or upset before or after school. They have unexplained injuries or bruises. They have trouble sleeping or eating. They seem to have fewer friends than before. They avoid certain places or people. They seem to be losing interest in activities they used to enjoy. If you notice any of these signs, it's important to talk to the person and find out what's going on. Additionally, it's important to recognize the types of bullying so that we can take action accordingly. Types of bullying. There are several types of bullying that learners should be aware of, including physical bullying. This includes hitting, pushing, tripping, or any other form of physical violence. Physical bullying is the most obvious type of bullying and is easiest to identify. It can cause physical harm and can also lead to emotional trauma and stress. Verbal bullying. This includes name-calling, teasing, insulting, or using threatening language. Verbal bullying can be just as damaging as physical bullying and can lead to emotional trauma and low self-esteem. Social bullying. This includes spreading rumors, exclusion, intentional humiliation or embarrassment, or any other form of social aggression. Social bullying is often difficult to recognize and can lead to feelings of isolation and depression. Cyberbullying. This involves using technology to harass, intimidate, or embarrass someone, such as sending hurtful messages, posting negative comments or rumors, or sharing embarrassing photos or videos. Cyberbullying can be especially harmful because it can happen 24-7, and the victim may not have a safe space to escape. Preventing bullying. Preventing bullying starts with creating a positive school culture where everyone feels respected and valued. Here are some things learners can do to prevent bullying. Treat others with kindness and respect. The best way to prevent bullying is to create a culture of kindness and respect. Be kind to everyone, even those who are different from you. Stand up for someone who is being bullied. If you see someone being bullied, don't be a bystander. Stand up for them and let them know they are not alone. Don't participate in or encourage bullying behavior. It's important not to participate in or encourage bullying behavior. Don't laugh at someone who is being bullied or join in on the teasing. Include everyone in activities and conversations. It's important to include everyone in activities and conversations. This can help prevent isolation and exclusion. Report bullying to a trusted adult. If you see or experience bullying, it's important to report it to a trusted adult. They can help you find a solution and prevent it from happening again. Create anti-bullying campaigns and programs to raise awareness. Students can work together to create anti-bullying campaigns and programs to raise awareness. This can include posters, videos, assemblies, and workshops that educate learners on the impact of bullying and how to prevent it. Dealing with bullying. If someone is being bullied, it's important to take action to help them. Here are some steps learners can take to deal with bullying. Speak up. If someone is being bullied, speak up and let the bully know that their behavior is not acceptable. Tell him to stop and walk away if necessary. Support the victim. Offer support to the victim by listening to them and reassuring them that they are not alone. Encourage him to report the bullying to a trusted adult. Report the bullying. If you witness bullying, report it to a trusted adult. This can be a teacher, counselor, or parent. They can help find a solution and prevent it from happening again. Use technology responsibly. If you are being cyberbullied, don't respond to the bully. Instead, block them and report the behavior to the appropriate platform or authority figure. Seek professional help. If the bullying has caused emotional or mental harm, seek professional help from a counselor or therapist. In conclusion, bullying is a serious issue that affects many learners. 
it's important to recognize the signs of bullying, understand the different types of bullying, and take steps to prevent and deal with bullying. By creating a positive school culture where everyone feels respected and valued, we can work together to prevent bullying and promote kindness and respect. Remember, if you or someone you know is being bullied, there is help available. Don't be afraid to speak up and seek help. Kindly like, comment and subscribe.